Okay, so if you're looking for a hack to stop the rain coming in through your open side door, and you want that hack to be inspired by Jesper Broden and Valerie Singleton, well, here's one I made earlier. Okay, Brit, so indulge me 30 seconds while I culturally orientate our American friends because we've got quite a few subscribers from the other side of the pond now. So, American friends, when I was a kid, there was a program on TV called Blue Peter, and there was a presenter on Blue Peter called Valerie Singleton. And each week, Valerie Singleton would make stuff out of rubbish that's hanging around the house, such as an insert from a toilet roll and sticky back plastic. And she'd make all this useful stuff. It's quite crap, but we thought it was useful stuff. And uh, what she might have to do is make something, wait for some glue to dry. So she'd just put that aside and bring one that she out that she pre-prepared. And her catchphrase was, and all the Brits are now screaming at the computer screen. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, so Valerie Singleton and uh, Jesper Broden. I say that with a Swedish accent. That is, it's crap. It's the stuff that Valerie Singleton used to make. Uh, is actually the CEO of IKEA. I suspect a lot of Brits won't know that either. Okay, so I am one of the no awning brigade. Uh, just don't have a need for an awning in my use case. No problem with awnings, this is just not me. Do not want one, haven't got one. But I must confess, sometimes if the doors open, there's a bit of a shower come down, and I'm trying to chat to friends who are outside in their vans. Uh, because of the shape of the van, rain can come in uh, through the top and just lie on the bottom of the doorstep. And it's just a little bit of an irritation when I think, hmm, that wouldn't happen if I had an awning. So what I've done is I've made uh, a mini awning, which my friend suggests should be called a porch. I think she's quite right there. And in true Blue Peter style, I've made it out of some magnets and a Ikea shopping bag. Hence the Yes Belperolden reference. Uh, so it rolls up, it folds up, it's very easy to deploy. And if you think you might have use for it, into the workshop, let's do it. Okay, so first you need to get yourself a brand new IKEA shopping bag. Now I get a few comments that some of my hacks are a little bit techy. Mm, maybe they are, maybe they're not, but um, this is definitely not. This is very organic. This is Maker. This is definitely Blue Peter. Right, so first what we're going to do is cut down the side seam. And uh, you'll see there's a seam on the side. And then we're going to cut all the way around the bottom seam that goes all the way around the bottom of the bag. And what that will do is give us now a flat piece of material uh, that we can work with. There you go. So now what we want to do is we want to cut off those IKEA branded tags, but do not throw them away because we are going to use them in true Blue Peter style for another part of the project. So put those aside somewhere. Right, now you need to measure up. I'm going to just clamp a tape measure on there to stop the plastic material rolling around. And I'm going to cut it for the length that I want to go over my door. Uh, these IKEA bags are actually plenty long enough. And uh, what I do with the offcuts, actually, I use it to test the efficacy of different glues because this material doesn't stick too good. But we'll talk about that later on. Um, so when I done, before I cracked on, I tidied up that edge that was around uh, that I, I formed by cutting through the seam around the bottom, just because it was it was a little bit difficult to get it straight. And I just wanted something nice and tidy, uh, just to tie it up to a nice straight line. Now you're going to need some support poles. I happen to have uh, some aluminium uh, tubing ligging around, but actually some wooden dowels will be absolutely fine. You can get those through your B&Qs or your Home Depots, whatever. Now, like a lot of plastics, polypropylene, the material this bag's made of, does not stick very well. And I tried some experiments with different glues on some of the offcuts. And the best thing I found actually was hot glue. Uh, hot glue is quite a good uh, adhesive for sticking this stuff. And so um, what I did is I put a line of hot glue down there, rolled the edge over onto the uh, pole and uh, just stuck it down like that. And that seemed to work fine. And in the season I've used it, it's been resilient to wind. So I put a total of four on there, and the middle ones, of course, aha, we can't roll them. So what I did is I just stuck them on a line of glue, uh, mark that out there and put a, a line of glue down, 
And then I used some of the offcuts from the handles, the tags, to make um, mechanical securing again with a blob of hot glue. Uh, just put two on each one and that seemed to be fine. So this is a real maker stuff and it real organic. Use it all up. Okay, and of course IKEA I'm sure will be delighted with the advertising. Yeah, right. Okay, so there's the poles all stuck on. Um, looking good. To stick the back edge of the porch awning to the van, I used rare earth magnets. I got them off eBay. There's really, really strong magnets. I got the ones with the, with the holes in, so you can use um, screws. I use some stainless steel screws. And I put a blob of glue on there just to stop it fraying. Really hard to do this because those bags are so strong, uh, you can't get your tools on there without them jumping around all the place. So it's a little bit tricky, but to um, get there in the end. So yeah, the glue is just to stop the plastic from fraying. There you go, I'm struggling. <laughs> and I put some plastic nut caps on the end of the support pole just to tidy up a bit. Now on the end of the awning or the porch, I got two guy ropes, one at each end, which I attached to the van with magnetic hooks. And to be absolutely frank, this is design number two. Design number one did not have those and didn't have as many back magnets. And it was a heap of crap. Worse than the stuff that Valerie Single used to make, slides, breeze it, come off. Those guy ropes make all the difference and I've had it seasoned now. And a couple of times there's been a little bit of breeze out there and it's it flapped around but it's held in place. Blob of glue to stop the knots coming undone and we are done. So now we can go out and deploy because here's one I made earlier. Now as I deploy this, you'll see me fumble a little bit with those guy ropes. After this clip, I'm going to show you a better way of folding it. I found a way of folding it so those guy ropes don't get tangled as you come undone. But you do need those guy ropes. The first version I had didn't have them and it wasn't very good. They make all the difference and it's been quite resilient over the season. I've had it out a few times when there's been a bit of a breeze, uh, more than we've got today in this clip, um, and it's held up. But you can see that it, it's sort of blowing away there in the breeze. Put those guy ropes on with the magnets and uh, jobs are good. Right, to assist in uh, deploying it, uh, not getting tangled up, this is how to roll it. First of all, those guy ropes, those magnetic hooks, stick them to one of the existing magnets on the back edge of your uh, awning or your porch and then roll it up. And that way they don't get tangled up as you're trying to deploy it. And when you want to, to unwrap it, you simply hold one edge and let it go. So it's not getting tangled up with the uh, guy ropes. It's, I was getting in that first clip. So there you go, very organic, Blue Peter style, maker style uh, hack, not like some of the techie ones I do, but actually, you know, it's been very effective for me, just when I want to have that door open because it's a light shower, but want to sort of interact with my friends in other vans, just a ticket. Okay, so you can't get more of an organic hack than that. I know some of my hacks are a little bit techy, although they're quite simple, actually, shouldn't be frightened of those ones, but uh, yeah, very organic, very maker, Blue Peter inspired hack. Talk about Blue Peter, Brits, hang on for 30 seconds because I have got a bit of gossip about our dear Valerie. Uh, everyone else, thanks for watching. Um, now there's a companion hack that I've done and, and I'll put a card on the end of this video. It's basically uh, to stop the rain coming on the inside of your door, a sliding door when you open it, if it's got trapped on top after raining. Um, it's a little bit different to the proprietary drip stops you can buy and I would say it works better in a heavy downpour than my mate's uh, Fiamma drip stop that he's got on his uh, Volkswagen T4. Okay, so that's on the end. Yeah, so Brits, Crucky, when I was looking for that um, a profile picture of our dear Valerie, Miss Singleton, obviously using the Google, I found a bit of stuff about Valerie. Crikey, she was a lass who had an enjoyable life, should, should, should we say. She would embrace everything that was on offer to her. She lived life, she didn't just exist, even if it was just for a very short time, like one night, for example. And it seems that Peter Purvis could vouch for that. Mm -hmm.